Louisville, Kentuckys legendenumwobene Formation Palace Brothers in einem Zündfunk-Live-Mitschnitt aus Münchens Kulturstation vom 18. September 1994. Palastbruder Will Oldham, charismatische Inkarnation des Unternehmens, hatte eine relativ frisch besetzte Formation aus dem Staat Virginia um sich geschart. Das sind Jason Stith am Bass und sein Bruder Aram Stith an der Solo-Gitarre und Jack Carneal am Schlagzeug. Oldham spielt Rhythmusgitarre und singt wie gewohnt herzerweichend und stimmlich gebrochen. Der Set, den sie in München spielten, so wurde mir hinterher Backstage in geradezu alberner Laune versichert, war um einiges energetischer als an den Vorabenden ausgefallen. Ich habe mich im Gegenzug darum bemüht, die bisweilen nichts weniger als rockistischen Gitarrensoli im Mix in Oldhams gut raue Rhythmusarbeit zu betten, sagen wir mal. Glücklicherweise haben wir hier heute genügend Zeit, um uns das ganze Münchner Konzert inklusive Zugaben und einem Interview zuführen zu können. Gleich mit den ersten Takten geht uns die Combo mit dem Trend ziehenden Ohio River Boat Song unter die Haut, gefolgt von Idle Hands are the Devil's Playthings, Pulpit, All is Grace, Within Thou Guest, No More Workhorse, Pushkin und Agnes, Queen of Sorrows. Die Palace Brothers live in München. go yeah oh and in my boat I roll cross the muddy Ohio when the evening light starts falling
Ton, uh, Jack just moved his cymbal mic.
was strong at the pulpit and I knew that it was wrong so I left in mid-sermon tempted by a bar house song well the pews they creaked and they shifted as everybody turned to watch me leave and I pulled a little bottle from a pocket in my sleeve It was stronger till my now church dark widened eyes than the light which had blinded me with Christ's own half lies. Yeah, mid Sunday morning, my old playmates sat round a stumble stained table, and Christopher spat and he.
and you own your own blood and so the world runs inside of you while outside of you might as well be made of my
lights up today There are many lights I persuade Why is this road here? I ask you where have I come? I am a rich man I am a very rich man, yeah, I obviously have good pants on, they are stitched and they are stitched, so I am just a stitcher.
Palace Brothers in einem Zündfunk-Live-Mitschnitt vom 18. September 1994 in Münchens Kulturstation. Seine Mitmusiker aus Virginia, um einiges konventioneller als die Urbesetzung der Palace Brothers in Kentucky, hat Will Oldham über seinen in Virginia lebenden Bruder, selbst sporadisches Palace-Mitglied, kennengelernt. Der erste Teil meines kurz nach dem Soundcheck geführten Interviews mit Will Oldham hält sich denn auch ziemlich lebendig mit gemeinsamen Bekannten, Musikern aus Richmond, die auch ich kenne, auf. Als es dann um die Palace Brothers geht, reduziert sich Wills Wortausstoß um circa 70 Prozent. Schon ein paar Jahre vor den Palace Brothers habe er in losen Formationen Musik in Louisville, Kentucky, seiner Heimatstadt, gemacht. In Louisville läge Musik regelrecht in der Luft. Nicht nur stammte der erste diskografierte Blueskünstler hierher, nämlich Sylvester Viva, sondern es gab auch klasse Jug-Bands und eine bis in die 70er Jahre interessante Jazz-Szene. Mit der lebendigen lokalen Punk-Szene gelangte auch Will auf die Straße und die Bühne. Seine heutigen Bestrebungen hätten mit Punk aber nichts mehr gemein. Da steckt die Promoterin Sabine Walz ihren Kopf in die Tür des Kontrollraums und sagt, Essen ist fertig. Will aber will noch ein bisschen weiter plaudern, während wir übrigens im Hintergrund die Landsberger Formation Fred is Dead Soundchecken hören. Jede begriffliche Festlegung von Musik bedeutet ihren Tod, sagt der Künstler. Sein neuer Gitarrist habe in Hollywood auf einer Gitarrenschule studiert und dürfe in den Palace Brothers spielen, wie auch immer ihm der Sinn steht. Manchmal so lohe er zum Beispiel ganze Songs durch. Zwei Lieder seien in dieser Besetzung bereits aufgenommen worden in New Jersey, in einem halben Jahr etwa auf Tonträger zu erwarten. Man nenne sich nach wie vor Palace Brothers, obwohl die Plakate Palace Show und die T-Shirts Palace Songs buchstabieren. Als ich auf Will Oldhams Fable für Peter Handke zu sprechen komme, wird das Gespräch wieder lebendiger. Auf Handke sei er durch Wim Wenders gestoßen, dessen Filme er bis auf die letzten beiden sehr verehre. Als ich meine ambivalente Haltung zu Wenders erkläre, einigen wir uns schnell auf die miese Qualität von Paris, Texas, während Oldham den Himmel über Berlin, den ich kaum aushalten kann, eine wunderbare Fabel findet. Ich aber im Gegensatz zu ihm falsche Bewegung für gelungen halte. Für Klasse auf beiden Seiten des Mikros befunden, Alice in den Städten und die Angst des Tormanns beim Elfmeter, dessen Titel ich, Germanist, verzeiht mir, falsch zitiere. Der andere deutsche Filmemacher, den Will Oldham verehrt, ist gleichfalls ein Kandidat, dessen Wertschätzung vielleicht in transatlantischer Gegend Besetzungstechnik besser funktioniert als auf hiesigen Boden, Werner Herzog. Und damit an den Anfang unseres Interviewausschnitts, langsame Musik wird deshalb gespielt, weil man ihr mehr Aufmerksamkeit schenken kann. I think just tried to make it so that there was a lot of attention being paid to different parts of the song and so it ended up being slow because if you play it fast it's hard to pay attention to, to what you're playing. Right, yeah. Or to what you're singing. Mm -hmm. And when did you start all this? When did you start making music? Was it long before the first record? I guess so, sort of. Mm. Uh, like these, the songs were, you know, started a couple years before, but never uh, in any sort of formal way. Mm. Only in informal gatherings, I'd say. Mm. Yeah. And that was always in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, pretty much. Are you from there or did you end from up there? From there, yeah. You're from there. Yeah. It's, it's funny that quite a lot of interesting bands now coming from there in the last 10 years or something. Yeah. And it's... Uh, As opposed to How would you that? describe the, the, the town? Is it, is it something which is... Uh, which is in the air in Louisville? That it's, is it an interesting place or is it just by chance that you... That it's some friends who met there and do something together. Would you would you say there's something in the air which is Louisville? Yeah, I'd say there's something in the air. Is is it? Yeah, there's always been. I think there's always been music in Louisville. Uh, I think that the first blues guitarist to ever record a record in the world was a Louisville guitarist. Who was it? Sylvester Weaver in whatever year, 20 whatever, 1920 whatever, 1930 whatever that was. Oh, yeah. I know that there were jug bands in the 20s or something, the Louisville Jug Band, you know? Yeah, Jugs yeah, yeah. And Louisville, Louisville Jug Band, yeah. I know that, so. Yeah, and Louisville's always been big blues and jazz up until the early 70s. There's still some there, but not as much as there was mm -hmm. in the 60s at this time. And since then, there's always been a very strong punk rock scene in Louisville. Have you been involved in that bef before you started this band? Or? I guess so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Life, life in 
Yeah, it's doing that. Life on the streets is a big part of it. Is that still punk music which you play now? Would you could that be also described as punk as a as an approach to music? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so, no? I don't think so, no. 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 I don't think so, too. But on the other hand, if I would say it's folk, then that would be wrong, too, because it's like uh, folk, folk normally is so much treated like a museum piece, like I said before. Yeah. Which makes folk a little sterile every now and then, you know? I think anytime you name what kind of music something is, it yeah. becomes sterile. You're right, yeah. Always. And these musicians in your band now, do they come from, what kinds of backgrounds do they have? I mean, the, the, the guitar player seems to be capable of playing yeah, he's really good. fast jazz solos or something. Yeah, like he studied in Hollywood Oh, at like a guitar school. But he's not too good, you know, you, you can still make him not, not play all the time. He plays what he wants solos. to play, yeah, mm. he plays totally what he but wants to play. But he knows that he couldn't play like these solos for through all the songs and so on. And he does yeah. sometimes, yeah. He does sometimes. Yeah. The drummer? Who's again from Richmond? Who, which one? The is drummer. The drummer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Does he play in another band then? No. Uh, he, I'm sure he has yeah. in the past. I don't mm -hmm. know what they're called or anything. Mm -hmm. And did you record with them already? A new record or something? Will there be something? We recorded two songs in New Jersey a, a month ago or something. But I don't know when they'll come out. It mm -hmm. might not be for six months or something. Is it still called the Palace Brothers then, or would you would you call it? Uh, somewhere I heard. I think Christoph Gurk told me. You know Christoph Gurk. Yeah. Sure, you know him. Uh, he told me something about it's only called Palace or something. Or the, was that just in between? I don't. Yeah, we we just we just toured in America under a different name, and over here, you know, none of the posters say Palace Brothers. Mm. Is it right that none of the T-shirts say it either? What do they say? The t-shirts say palace songs and the posters say palace shows. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. You never, also, you de you don't, you're not big in giving credits on records who did what and so it makes a hard time for DJs like me yeah. at the radio station. I heard that you, that you, uh, is that right? You, you, you read Huntke and you, you uh, Peter Huntke? Yeah, yeah. How did you, how did you um, discover him? Just like Through Vendors. Through Vendors? Yeah. Do you like Vendors? Before, up and before the last two movies, very much. Yeah. And a little less so. But also, there's some, you know, all all along. It seems like there's some of the best movies and a couple of the not so best movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like it? Do you know his earlier stuff too? Like uh, Falsche Bewegung. I don't do. do What's Falsche Bewegung? Uh, oh, wrong, wrong movie. Wrong movement? Do you know yeah, that stuff? Yeah, I didn't like that one. But do you know yeah, it's written by Handke. Yeah. That one, yeah. Or uh, that road movie. Um, Kings of the Road is called in America. Yeah, it's Im, Im Lauf der Zeit in German, I guess. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, like, while time is running? Like, uh, uh, is there a term? Like, during, during the times? W w meanwhile, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a really good Did one. Did you like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Alice in the City is a whole lot. Sure, yeah, yeah. And Goalie's Anxiety, the penalty kick, the most of all. Do you know that? Which one? It's the one about the football player. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. We call it mm -hmm. the goalie's anxiety at the penalty kick. Sure, yeah. It's Die Angst des Tormanns vorm Elfmeter. Yeah. Do you, do you, can you speak German or no, do you understand it? No. So you read it in uh, Handke? You, did you? In English. Yeah. So through Wim Wenders you got into the, into the Handke yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. It's so funny because I do like some of the Wim Wenders movies, but on, on the other hand, they're, um, their way of uh, seeing America is really like... Uh, it's also like a typical um, kitschy uh, view of America, which we we like to have over here. You know, like like I said, tumbleweeds and uh, yeah. Oh, the that's that. You're thinking of that horrible Par movie, Paris, <laughs> Texas. So you think that's a horrible? I one. think that's the worst of yeah, all. Yeah, I of think them. So. no. Maybe the sky above Berlin is maybe as bad. Oh no, I like that one. Yeah, the first so. one. Wing, we call it Wings of Desire in America. I don't know. Maybe because I yeah, I know I'm that whole Berlin. Thing and and, yeah, I don't and, know and then you see these Australian exiles in, in his movies, you know, in, in Berlin, and it's all that that cliche of Berlin. It's like the New York Lower East Side uh, um, dandyistic uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. semi. That that's a lie to my 
opinion in a way. So, yeah, I guess so, it didn't seem to be about Berlin at all. Yeah, it seemed much more like a fable than yeah, yeah. than anything pertaining. But I like, like in the Alice in the Cities at the beginning, the his America, like the first mm -hmm. five or seven minutes is in America. Yeah. That's nice about I, America. I think so too. In that case, in, the, in that and movie, the state of things at the very end when they go to mm -hmm. Los Angeles, mm -hmm. that's very good also. Yeah, I do like that movie too. Yeah. So I've I mixed mixed uh, mixed uh, feelings with Wim Wenders. So. Yeah. So so any other any other German uh, 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 novels you read or, or did, did you? Uh, does it, so just by chance you you, you came through the movies. movies when, when Herzog. You go to you, do you see other German movie makers? Or do you see other German like Her Her Herzog movies? Herzog. Yeah. Und damit zum zweiten Teil unseres Live-Mitschnitts. Palace Brothers, live in München, mit Mollen, King Me, dem Seller Song, Stable Will und I'm a Cinematographer. I'm a Cinematographer. Wait another day 
Thank you. Und hier sind die Zugaben der Palace Brothers am 18. September 1994 in München. Oh Lord, are you in need? Drinking Woman und die einzige Coverversion des Abends, Bob Dylan's New Pony.
Will Oldham, Gesang und Rhythmusgitarre, Aram Stiths, Solo-Gitarre, Jason Stith, Bass und Jack Carneal am Schlagzeug waren am 18. September 1994 in München die Palace Brothers. Ingenieur in der Kulturstation war Rainer Salaf und ich bin Zündfunks Thomas Meinecke. Will Oldham, Gesang und Rhythmusgitarre, Aram Stiths, Solo-Gitarre, Jason Stith, Bass und Jack Carneal am Schlagzeug waren am 18. September 1994 in München die Palace Brothers. Ingenieur in der Kulturstation war Rainer Salaf und ich bin Zündfunks Thomas Meinecke.